What's going on guys? So in this video, we're getting ready for summer. And that's right, if you like Oreos, you like frozen treats, you like ice cream, you might wanna stick around. We're making small Oreo bites, cupcake things. I don't know what to actually call them, but stick around because they're gonna be delicious and easy to make. So the first ingredient you want are some Oreo thins. These are lighter in the calories than regular Oreos, but if you wanna choose regular Oreos, go right ahead. Just remember that the calories will vary from these. We're gonna use 12 for the recipe, but we're gonna take out 10 and we're gonna use two for the toppings. Here are our two. We're gonna put these to the side. But what we do want is to basically cut these in half. We're gonna separate the white stuff and the cracker. So go ahead and just separate that out. This is gonna take some time, guys, and just be patient. Butter knife usually works the best, I think. Ah, see, look at that, you just crack it. And that's okay, because guess what? We're gonna crush the crackers, so it doesn't really matter. But we do want as much of the white stuff off as possible, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the bottom of the ice cream. It's gonna be more of like an Oreo sandwich, ice cream sandwich, except protein packed. Just take some patience, don't go fast, because you'll, I start from here, and I just kinda twist. And you see, it almost comes all the way off. Guys, if you haven't done so already, drop a like for this video. It really helps out the channel. Or the algorithm helps push my content out to more people when you guys hit that like, subscribe, and that bell notification. Thanks, guys. Now, grab your plastic bag, Ziploc bag, preferably. We're gonna throw all of these inside and crush them. If you have something to crush this, that would be ideal. If I have another one of these bowls, I'm gonna use this. Just. Crush them up into little tiny pieces. However you like, you can stomp on it or just roll, but just make sure that the bag doesn't rip whatever you guys are using. Honestly, if you have a food processor, that would probably be the best, but you know, here at lift to eat we use what we have. So we have it all ready. So we wanna throw all of this into another bowl, here we go. All right, so we have all of the crushed Oreos right here. Next, what you want is two scoops of your protein. I went with this PE Science. This is chocolate cupcake. You can use chocolate. Uh, I used chocolate before, I've used vanilla before. My Oreo protein ice cream. I'll leave that video for you guys to check that out. That one's also amazing. Be sure to give it a like on that one as well. So here, we are going to use two scoops. I think the chocolate cup, oh, smells good. Chocolate cupcake would be great, a great addition for the crushed cookies because I, that doesn't really look, I mean, it's white and black like an Oreo, but a cupcake is totally different than an Oreo. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna mix it all together. I used a fork, a whisk would probably be best, guys, but you know, I'm using what, what I have. All right, the next ingredient, you want some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and we're gonna use 100 milliliters. Can't forget your food scale, so put that right on top. You have the fork in there or a whisk, make sure you don't move it, and switch it over to milliliters, and be sure to not add too much, guys. 100 milliliters, 100, 100. All right, so put that off to the side, put your food scale to the side, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it all together. Now, we don't wanna make this into like a liquid form. We wanna make this thick, okay? Show you guys what I'm talking about. Look, look at this right here. Thick like that, okay, like batter almost. Next, what you want are some of these cupcake molds. I got this from Target. Make sure you get, look at this, the rubber kind. I think that works the best. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and make three. So we're gonna lay this down on the bottom. So make sure you just grab one scoop at a time and fill it up to about like a quarter, quarter ways. Maybe we'll have enough for While we're waiting on everything else, just stick this in the freezer to let it cool and start forming into kind of the bottom portion. Stick this in the freezer, guys. All right. So since that's in the freezer, now it's time to make our frosting. Remember, we have our inside right here, whatever that white stuff is. 
So the next ingredient is some non-fat Greek yogurt. I went with Faye. If you guys actually know what the white stuff is uh, in Oreos, uh, let me know it down in the comment section below. I actually don't know. We're gonna use 150 grams. Get out your food scale again. Not milliliters, we wanna change it back to grams. 130, 149, close enough. I'm not gonna try the, with the one gram with, uh, with the yogurt. With the liquid, with the almond milk, I think I can get it. But with this, it's gonna be over. But one gram, I'm not worried about it. So next what we have is white chocolate pudding mix. This is fat free and sugar free. We're gonna use two servings, which is going to be 14 grams. All right, now mix it all together. Remember we wanna mix all of that powder with the white stuff on the bottom from the Oreos. Should get us something thick like that. Put that off to the side. Let's grab our tray. Here we are. This is gonna take some precision. You can always add more onto one side, but try to add an even amount on each. So I'm doing one scoop and spreading it nice and evenly. You guys do the same. Be sure to hit that like button. So we have a little bit left. So we're gonna do half scoops. All right, so we have our five right here. But wait, we still had our two Oreos we didn't crush. We're gonna crush these up and sprinkle them on top. So we have that nice Oreo topping. And remember, these are gonna be included in the calories at the end. I feel like the smaller the piece is, the better. For the thumbnail. All right, here we go. Now, these are almost done. We're just gonna put them in the freezer for about an hour and a half to two hours. You can leave them for more. But just remember that these are gonna be solid. So when you take them out, make sure you thaw them out if you're gonna leave them overnight. But we're gonna check on them in about an hour and a half. So see you then. One hour later. All right, so it's been about an hour. Make sure you have a, something to put it on, like this, but a butter knife to, and slowly cut around the edges. Just to free it up. You're not really cutting, you're more like, massaging it around the edges, if that makes sense. So that way you can just push. Now, if you want it more frozen, they're a little bit soft on the bottom, which I'm okay with, because it gives you more of that brownie texture. When they're fully frozen, you have to wait until they thaw out and you can't just really enjoy them, you know? It's really honestly up to you, it's personal preference. If you look at this one, this one came out great. Boom, you see it's mostly, these came out so good, guys. I'm so happy with this. I had to try this three or four times to try to get this correct. Figuring out what's the right mixture. Here we go. Oreo cake bites. Oreo protein bites, that's what we should call them. All right, put these down. And now we're gonna take some thumbnail photos. All right, here comes the taste test. Remember at the bottom, still is kind of wet. And we like that because, look at this. Mm-hmm. So it's like soft, custard-like, but it's also cold, so it's like a little frozen treat. Mm. You don't have to pick them up with your hands. You can use a spoon as well. Look at this. Make this into like a nice custard. Mm. All right. Let me know down in the comment section how much each one of these are. Let me know what you guys think. All right, we'll tell you for the whole recipe first. For all five, it's 794 calories, 22 grams of fat, 82 grams of carbs, and 67 grams of protein. For one, if you just wanna eat one, 159 calories, that's it, 159. Around five grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of protein. It's about like, it comes into decimal, so I just rounded it up or down. But that's, that's essentially it for one. Guys, if you enjoyed this recipe, Give me a like, share it with your friends and family. I'm gonna be making this during the summer. Uh, it's starting to get hot here in California, so I'm definitely gonna be making these. Again, if you enjoyed this recipe, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, that bell notification to be notified anytime we post new content. Go ahead and like me on Instagram, TikTok, with to eat one nutrition coaching. Links in the description down below. We'll see you guys next week for another video. All right, maybe one.
comunque I was gonna say this with some coffee would be amazing but I don't have time to make coffee right now well actually I do but I'm not gonna 